Good morning, everybody. It's about 9.30 almost on Thursday. Hopefully you got over the hump okay. I had a fairly large hump to get over yesterday with that migraine, but by the time we did the video, um, I, I was okay getting better, but I still had that dull migraine and just like hangover feeling for the entire evening and still actually kind of have a little bit of a sensitivity, but feeling much better. I uh, had a good start to the morning. I already had a couple of good conversations with people. The boys are off to school. Um, and uh, just excited. Excited for these next two days. Excited for the weekend. Um, I, you know, I, Lynn is going to go and visit her father for the weekend. So I get the boys and we have, get to have some guys time together. Uh, my youngest is now on Fortnite on his Nintendo Switch. Uh, so the older boy, Nicholas, is enjoying leading his brother around the island on Fortnite. So they're, they haven't had a whole lot of time to play together um, for good reasons, uh, you know, mainly school and homework. But, um, you know, they're looking forward to the weekend and devoting a lot of time to Fortnite. So we'll, we'll have to see. I'm going to have to plan out and pre... Uh, pre-plan the weekend uh and we'll probably have to use some define my day uh uh you know uh, strategy with that to make sure that they're aware that they need to do this in blocks and that they have to take a break and do some other more constructive stuff so i'm not against video games just not against video games for eight to ten hours a day one of the reasons last night they couldn't go uh online and play was because we were actually looking at a house um, it's, we've been on the market for six months or longer. Uh, and this one we're looking for one. So what I'm trying to do here is find a house that is conducive for us to work out of for at least some amount of time. Uh, I don't know how quickly we're going to add employees, but you know, we have one right now and then we have one we're going to, we're trying to hire right now to help with shipping. And so you know, we're going to have four people in the house. So we need a house with like basement access where there's a bathroom. And so the employees don't have to run, you know, walk through the house. And, and you know, so we have some privacy also. So that's what we've been trying to look for. Obviously, obviously we need more space and I want a better place to do videos where we have a nice backdrop and I have some room to move around and maybe uh, even present some things if there's something I need to write on a whiteboard. So, you know, we're trying to make it conducive, um, you know, while also not moving into a commercial space yet. Uh, I certainly don't want to sign a long-term lease in a space that I don't know how big we're going to get. I don't want to outgrow it that fast. Um, and uh, so we're kind of like, we're figuring like for the next couple of years, we'll probably run the business out of the house and wherever we end up, we end up. Um, so we're trying to figure that all out, but we're excited. Lynn's excited about this one. Um, it's a it's a nice It's a nice place, especially in the inside. It's very nice. Um, you know, big spaces, uh, you know, for where we need, I have some decent office space. Um, so, you know, it's been, it's been on our priority list for a while. And, you know, if try to temper expectations, if this one falls through, we can always find something else. Right. Uh, but we're trying to, you know, it's been on our like top five things to do, uh, list for at least six months now. And, uh, it kind of shows the progression of how to find my day, you know, we, you know, it's, you know, we move, finding a new space for the home and business is number one priority. And then, you know, it might not show up on the pages every day, uh, but occasionally we come into a time like yesterday where priority number one is, you know, get our documents in order, uh, do one more walkthrough of the house, um, you know, discuss offers, stuff like that. So then it appears as a priority. So while, you know, it might not be, showing up day to day or even on the the goal for the month because we didn't know we had a house you know maybe house hunting is on the goals like as a personal goal uh, but it might not necessarily even be in the milestones so you know you, you how you weave personal stuff into this process along with business stuff is you know it's it's it, it just goes from day to day it just depends on like where where you need to be today through the week you know, to accomplish what you want to accomplish. So, you know, today, a lot of my priorities are uh, uh, involved with, you know, you know, trying to finalize our offer and, and move forward on this process. Uh, tomorrow might be completely different. Saturday is going to be all about the boys. You know, so it, it's, it just depends day to day, but there's all my actions every day, even though the priorities change, 
all come in alignment in, you know, in the, and that they all support the direction that I want to go in life. So that's kind of where we want you to be too, no matter what your priorities and goals are. So, uh, Anita, hi, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I also appreciate the nice comments everybody made yesterday, uh, supporting me with my, my migraine. Uh, I have to, I have to say, and this actually might be a pretty important topic to go into deeper later, but I didn't appreciate, um, the pain that somebody with a migraine goes through, you know, it's like you have a headache, right? Like that's like when I was young, I could see myself saying that I probably did say it, but once you experience it, you realize, oh my God. This is not a headache. <laughs> this is, this is severe, right? And so it takes sometimes takes perspective to understand what somebody else is going through. And yeah, uh, I, I was just listening to a blog or a podcast of a woman talking about um, uh, like that ex shaming that's going on, like with the revenge uh, shaving shaming, where people like if if you exchange nude photos between each other and then you break up and then the boyfriend sends them out to everybody. And she, you know, explains that experience and referred to it as bullying. She was bullied by other guys. She was bullied by people, you know, in comments on her posts saying, you know, you're a, you're a slut, whatever. And people would say, you know, you're calling this bullying. You have no right to talk about bullying. You don't know what bullying is. And I think that, you know, we 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 get into this situation where we try to one each one up each other as to how much pain we've gone through. Uh, and that's really not necessary. Uh, somebody else going through pain doesn't diminish your pain. Um, and no matter how hard we try to say, well, I'm going through more pain than that person, there's, there's really no good effect with that. Um, everybody has their own struggles. Everybody has their own pain. Uh, I myself was bullied going through grade school and high school. Um, I am sure somebody went through a worse experience uh, you know, if you were to compare them apples to apples, I'm sure there's somebody that's gone through a worse experience than me. But for me as a child at that time, uh, that was about as bad as it got. And it impacted every decision I made uh, through life uh, from, you know, work to relationships to how I handled my days. Uh, and so, I, you know, I don't, you can't, and everybody handles things differently. Some people might say, oh, that's no big deal. Other people might say, oh my God, I can't believe what you went through. None of it matters. What matters is that person's experience of the situation. So we can't walk around going, I have it worse than you, or shut up, you know, you, you know, what do you even know what you're talking about? For them, it's a big deal. And we don't need to diminish that. There's no reason to. It doesn't help anybody. But what we can do is say, you know, I'm I I, I I'm sorry you hurt that way. Um, you know, and then at that point you know, it depends on where you are in that person's life. Are you just somebody that needs to be supportive? Are you somebody that needs to be, you know, like a coach to guide them through it? Or are you somebody that's like has a, that experience and you can say, you know, this is how I handled it. Can you recommend somebody that, that did? Uh, or is it something you just let go? You know, hey, you know, sorry that you went through that and it doesn't need to be addressed anymore. It depends on where they are too, right? So, but I think that in all of it, there's no reason to diminish what somebody's going through. Like somebody telling this woman, you know, you don't know what bullying is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she does. For her, that was a big deal. It was traumatic. And she went through that for years. And, you know, who are we to say that's not a big deal? Or you put yourself in that situation. You know, we all put ourselves in situations. And, it, you know, we all go, oh, man, I shouldn't have done that. But you don't anticipate something like that going wrong, right? We all still have to live and and you know, make mistakes and whatever. We don't plan on paying for those mistakes for the rest of our lives. So that's just my, you know, thing. <laughs> so yeah, I have a migraine. Somebody might be looking at me going, oh, dude, you have a headache. Okay. At that moment, I had a really bad, I had a really bad headache that kept me in bed for about six hours. So, you know, um, Anita says, uh, it makes it so impossible to do anything when you have a migraine. I agree. And I'll tell you what, I had like almost fever dreams, like, I was dreaming that my wife was sitting next to me on the bed at some point in time. I said, did you come in the bedroom? She was like, no, I left you alone. I'm like, I, 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 well, you were there. <laughs> like, as far as like, I was concerned. Um, you know, so it's, it's, you know, it's, it's really devastating. And I feel bad for people that have chronic migraines. Mine, I don't have them for years. And then I get a couple and I think it's stress. I think it's like high blood pressure, like, like things that just stress me out. 
Um, you know, I had uh, just little stupid, stressful situations that, you know, I try to stay centered. It's weird. I have this situation like, or the, this, this method of handling stress where I, I just try to like power through it and keep going, but it's always like underneath bubbling. And so I'm trying to find that perfect balance of allowing myself to experience it, uh, maybe even react to it if I need to or respond to it. Uh, not letting it, you know, like trying to be mindful, staying centered and all this other stuff and not get thrown off. It's a hard, it's a hard road to navigate. Um, you know, and even people that do it very well, uh, seem to, um, you know, seem to eventually have it catch up with them. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know the perfect way to do it. I think the, the, you just have to keep trying, right? You keep trying to get better. And what else are we going to do? I don't know. Uh, today, I am, uh, you know, we're busy. Obviously, I'm a little bit behind from yesterday. So I'm going to try to do a live session um, for this Thursday at three. Uh, but I, I, I'm not having high hopes. We have a meeting here in about an hour uh, to go over what's going to be going on today. And I don't know that I'm going to be able to get to it. I know the podcast has been neglected since the 12th of February, but I have uh, some live sessions I'm going to be be posting into the podcast on, uh, you know, Apple iTunes and stuff. Um, but I do have, uh, I think that the topic that I want, and maybe you guys can give me some feedback if you want to talk about it. Topic would be, um, you know, how to, you know, deal with something that knocks you off of the process and how to recover from it. And kind of like the phases of what that might look like for some people. It's more extreme for others. Um, but I, I think maybe that might be a valuable topic to discuss. You know, and we'll, uh, you know, we can we can discuss other things or questions that anybody might have also. But I don't know that may, that might be maybe it's a Sunday morning topic. Uh, that way, you know, I can make sure I can block off the right amount of time to talk about that and also answer any questions that anybody has about Define My Day. Because I know we're getting a lot of new users in right now. And uh, I want to make sure we're getting everybody up to speed on the Define My Day process while also addressing these larger topics. So small steps, right? I need a small steps. And that's the thing. I mean, a big a big part of it is just trying to regain momentum. Uh, and sometimes like today, it, it might be, you know, firing yourself out the gate and just like going right back at it. Other times it's like, okay, I got to get back on the horse and we're just going to start walking first and then, you know, we'll build it up to a nice pace. So, yeah. Um, cool. Well, good. I, Nita, thank you for joining me and thank you everybody else that's in here watching. Um, if you have any questions, please define my day related or otherwise, uh, put them in the comments here and I can always come back and answer them for you in tomorrow's live or even answer them live in the comments. I'm here for you. All right. Take care. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye. Where's my button? Where's my button?